Good morning, viewers. Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences in Uganda on both level and Erevo. Telephonic contact is 0753 80 Today, 20th September 2020, we are going to look at cell physiology in A-level biology. This refers to process by which material enter and leave the cell. They include diffusion, osmosis, phagocytosis, pinocytosis, and active transport. One, diffusion is the movement of molecules from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration. The difference in the concentration is between the two regions is called diffusion gradient. Diffusion occurs until the concentration between the region is, is uniform. So diffusion will go on, on, on until the concentration between the two regions become the same. Function is of diffusion. One, gaseous exchange in lungs. Two, absorption of water in the colon. Three, uptake of glucose by the cells from blood and intercellular fluids. Four, loss of water during transpiration. Five, diffusion of scent from the flowers. Six, gaseous exchange during photosynthesis. All of these are occur by diffusion. Factors affecting the rate of diffusion. A, distance over which diffusion occurs. The bigger the distance, the slower the rate of diffusion. B, temperature. The higher the temperature, the faster the rate of diffusion due to high kinetic energy of molecules. Then you see concentration gradient. The higher the concentration gradient, the higher the rate of diffusion. The mass of diffusing molecules. The heavier or the bigger the molecules, the slower the rate of diffusion. Then E, solvent density. The higher the density of the solvent, the slower the rate of diffusion. F, solubility. Nonimpolar molecules are soluble in the cell membrane and they diffuse easily through. While porous molecules don't dissolve in the cell membrane and they don't diffuse through the membrane. Two, osmosis. This is the passage of solvent molecules from a region of their high concentration to a region of their low concentration through a same permeable membrane. This is the passage of solvent molecules from a region of their high concentration to a region of their low concentration through a semi permeable membrane. In a biological system, the solvent is water. Simple demonstration of osmosis. When a sucrose solution is put in a piece of funnel, bound by same pine membrane and inserted in water, the solution will be seen rising, showing that there is a net movement of water from the beaker 
the fiso fan. So the arrow shows a net movement of water into the solution. The minimum pressure you can apply to the solution to prevent osmosis is called osmotic pressure. Thermos relating to osmosis in living things. One is water potential. This is the capacity of a system to lose water. At standard temperature and pressure, the water potential of pure water is zero. Adding a solute in the water lowers the water potential and make it more negative because zero being the biggest in the other value lower than zero is negative. So water molecules will always move from a solution of a higher water potential to a solution of a lower water potential. Two, osmotic pressure. This is the pressure that prevents movement of water molecules from pure water into aqueous solution through the impermeable layer. Osmotic pressure increases with concentration. In other words, water molecules will move from a solution of low osmotic pressure to a solution of high osmotic pressure. Osmosis and the cell. The cell membrane is the same permeable membrane. When the cell is pressed in hypotonic or a solution of a lower concentration than the cell, the cell will take up water by osmosis, then it will swell or it becomes big. When the cell is pressed in a tonic solution or, or a solution, with the same concentration as the cell, the cell would neither take up water or lose water by osmosis. Its size will remain the same. And three, when the cell is placed in a hypertonic solution, a solution of higher concentration, it will lose water by osmosis and it will sink. Effect of osmosis on red blood cells. When red blood cell is placed in a hypotonic solution, it takes up water by osmosis, it swells and bursts or hemolyzes. Two, when a blood cell is placed in an isotonic solution, which is 0.9% sodium chloride, it needs to take up water by osmosis or lose water by osmosis. Its shape and size will not change. Three, when red blood cell is pressed in a hypertonic solution, it loses water by osmosis, leaks the plasma membrane, wrinkles, or it undergoes pollination. So when red blood cell is pressed in a hypertonic solution, the water by osmosis, its size becomes smaller, its membrane wrinkles, or the cell undergoes coordination. For that reason, plants and animals try to regulate the concentration of salts in their blood fluids, the process called regulation or if you have to make any drug to be injected into a person's blood then it must be acetonic to prevent hemolysis or urination of red blood cells. Osmosis and plant cell when a plant cell is pressed into a hypotonic solution it takes in water by osmosis. It increases in size. However, it does not burst because the cell wall stretches and develops a tension that resists 
vasa expansion of the cell. The station is called pressure potential. The pressure potential reaches the maximum when the cell wall cannot stretch anymore. At this point, the cell is said to be tagged. Osmosis and plant cell. When a plant cell is pressed into a protonic solution, it takes in water by osmosis and increase in size. However, it does not burst like the red blood cell because it contains a cell wall which stretches and develops a tension preventing further expansion of the cell. The tension developed by the cell wall is called the pressure potential. The pressure potential reaches the maximum when the cell wall cannot expand anymore. At this point, the cell is said to be fully targeted. Targeted in the cell provides support and maintains the shape and the form of the plant. Two, when a plant cell is pressed in a hypertonic solution, it loses the water by osmosis to an extent that the protoplasm pulls away from the cell wall, leaving a gap between the cell wall and then the cell membrane. The shrinkage of the protoplasm from the cell wall is called plasmolysis. Three, active transport. It is energy consuming transport of molecules, ions, particles, against their concentration gradient. Evidences that active transport requires energy. It occurs only in respiring tissues. Increasing temperature and oxygen concentration increase the rate of active transport. Actually, oxygen is used in respiration. Metabolic poisons that prevent formation of ATP stop active transport. We know that ATP is the energy media in the living things. Four, cells carrying out active transport contain a large number of mitochondria. Again, mitochondria are organelles that produce energy in the cell. Functions of active transport, absorption of mineral salts and amino acids from the stomach, absorption of mineral salts from ascending loop of Henry, four, absorption of mineral salts by root hairs from the soil, and then four, absorption of ions into the gut cell, which leads to opening of the stomata. Phagocytosis and pinocytosis. Phagocytosis is uptake of solid particle, while pinocytosis is uptake of liquid particle. In both process, the plasma membrane invigilates Then takes in the particle. Then later it closes up. It invigilates the particle enters and then closes up the particle inside. When the particle is a solid, it's phagocytosis. When the particle is a liquid, then it is pinocytosis. But the process takes place the same way. Find the notes. The vision the question is and the answers on this website dictateachers.co.ug. On the top bar menu, you will see a level. You click to get a drop down menu, which is the biology. Then you click to be able to get the notes for biology. I'm also requesting you to subscribe so that you support my website. So you make my website popular so that it can help more students like you.
please help me and subscribe to promote my videos.